great, man. I, I found this, um, don't worry about it. It was, I got it from Easter. It's been like three months. Oh, baby. I'll be careful. Okay. So, um, cut that part. You ready? Okay, so um, I'm going to talk about the difference between weight and mass. Now, everything has mass, and it's it's got mass all the time. Whether I'm here or on the moon, I've got the same amount of mass. The same with this egg. But what's different about weight is that weight is the combination of mass and the pull of gravity. So gravity's sucking it down. Now, if you're on the moon, gravity's not going to suck it down as hard. If you want to check an example of that, um, Look up uh, Apollo 15 and David Scott. He drops a he drops a geological hammer and a falcon feather, and they both drop at the same rate because they're both being pulled by gravity at the same rate, All right? But they're happening slower because it's on the moon. So the mass of the falcon feather, the mass of the uh, of the geological hammer, it's the same as it was on Earth, but it's being pulled down slower. So the weight's different. So weight's the product of mass and gravity. W equals mg. So when I drop this. It falls and <laughs> Professor Norris. Chuck Norris, Jr. Oh, jeez. The martial arts instructor. <sighs> they say he doesn't even have a mother. They say Chuck just made him. We gotta get out of here. Come on. Run. Run like <coughs> Tess, how are you? Good, how are you? Just, just fine. Uh, be right back. Egg drop? Yeah. What? Ah, jeez. Okay, so weight. Weight's pulling me down. If I didn't have weight, if there was no gravity, I'd just be moving straight up, but gravity pulls me down. It's actually helping me get down through here. Weight is mass times gravity. Gravity's just an acceleration like any other kind of it's just a special one, so force is always mass times acceleration. But weight is a special kind of force, directed downward. And gravity is a special acceleration. But it's always acting on mass. Jeez, we gotta get out of here. Oh, Professor Norris, how are you? Boy, these resorts are great. You wouldn't believe what it took me, it took that last movie out of me. Well, what are you doing now that the Fruit Loops commercials are over? Well, I'm just sitting here digging in the sun. I actually live here. I've uh, started this uh, resort, and hey, what's that? Anyway, let's talk about weight versus mass. Now, weight's a special kind of force. Force is given by a capital F, and force is the product of mass times acceleration. Now, Isaac Newton gave us uh, three, three different rules, basic laws, that talk about force. The first thing he said was, an object in motion will remain in motion unless acted upon by some other force. So some mass is going to keep moving, or stand still, or keep moving at the same rate until it's acted upon by a force. So a force is a thing that changes the motion of a mass. And by changing the motion of a mass, that means it's going to cause it to accelerate. It'll cause it to speed up or slow down, change direction. All right? So we take a mass, we multiply it by the acceleration, and we find out what kind of force was responsible. Now, weight, like I said before, is a special kind of force. It's the force that the Earth uses to draw, the er draw you down to it. Uh, and gravity is acceleration. Everything falls at the same rate, 9.8 meters per second squared. So the second law was that, uh, let's see, well, that's about it. Acceleration is the force divided by the mass. So F equals MA was the second law. The third law states that uh, every action gets an equal and opposite reaction. So when I'm falling down towards the Earth, the Earth is also falling towards me. But the Earth has got a mess of mass. It's, uh, it's 6 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. That's, let's see, that's 6 million billion billion kilograms. And I'm only about 80 kilograms. So the same force that pulls me down is pulling the Earth up. But my acceleration is much more than the Earth's acceleration towards me because the Earth's mass is much bigger.